I harvested a bunch of sweet potatoes today, so I thought it'd be a good time to talk about scurf and sweet potatoes. And what it is, if you look at this potato here, you notice up here it's got kind of normal color, and then around here it's just dark colored. That's caused by a fungus. I uh, can't remember how to pronounce the name of it. I'll put it up on the screen so you can research it if you want to know more about it. But this one also has it. And this has got just a little bit. Uh, some of them don't look too bad, but some of them, like this one over here, got quite a bit on it. Uh, the good news is that they're still edible. It's just uh, skin deep. It doesn't affect the meat of the potato, so you just don't want to eat that uh, skin, but the potato will be just fine. The bad news is it's a soil-borne disease, so if it's in your soil, it's going to be there for three or four years. Uh, so the main way to um, not have scurf on your potatoes is to not plant them in the same area for three or four years. But for a small time gardener like myself, uh, that's not really a, a great option because I don't have all that much room. But there's a few other things you can do. Like I mentioned, if you have, if you're starting uh, disease free, uh, don't have scurf in your soil. The way to keep keep it out is to make sure you don't use any disease um, disease potatoes to start your slips with or make sure you buy slips that are, that are disease free and another thing you can do is uh, make sure that um, when you store your potatoes that your bin is cleaned from the previous um, crop that you had make sure you're not spreading it from one crop to another crop but I just want to talk about this just a little bit for those who hadn't heard about it or knew much about it. It's uh, not the end of the world. It kind of is a cosmetic thing, it, but it's uh, not something that you can easily get rid of if it's in your soil. It just takes several years of not growing sweet potatoes to uh, get rid of it, basically. I have a bunch of them over here. These are were grown in a grow bag. And it seems like I have a worse case of scurf in those than I do these that were growing in, in the soil. So I guess I won't be growing sweet potatoes in the grow bags anymore because I can't afford to buy new soil. And looks like that soil I was reusing has quite a bit of it in there. I just uh, thought I'd share this and hope it helps somebody out that's wondering about what that black stuff is on their sweet potatoes. That's what it is, more than likely. Before you go, let us know if you've ever had scurf on your sweet potatoes. And let us know what kind of sweet potatoes you like to grow. And don't forget to hit that like button. We'll see you next time.